What's up everybody? It's Trush with another episode of Trush Teaches and here we are with How to Wheelie Part 2. And if you didn't watch How to Wheelie Part 1 with the Grom or just the TTR, regular How to Wheelie, and you don't know the basics, go watch that one first and then come back to this one. In the first video, we went over just on the mini bike, basic clutch ups and hitting the brake. So at this point, you should be able to pop it up and keep it slow with the balance of throttle and brake back and forth and keep it slow. Today, we're gonna work on putting all that together on a big bike, keeping both of our feet up and dropping back, coming back down, dropping back, coming back down. So it's not just gonna be a pop up. We're gonna try to ride our wheelies out and keep the speed controlled. So let's do it. So if you remember from last time, we have our clutch, our throttle and our brake. But this time, we're not gonna start at a dead stop with our foot down. We are gonna keep it at a slow pace, just like this. I'm not even on the throttle. My idle seems a little bit up, but we're just gonna keep it real basic and just, at first, just clutch it up, make sure you know your brake, clutch it up, make sure you feel it out, because this, this brake in particular is a little squishy. Make sure it works, make sure you feel it, get comfortable. And don't worry about going super high at first, but try not to chase it out. So we're just gonna start really slow, clutches in, and and up. Super basic. That was like one of my one of the first things I ever did, something just like that. A lot of wheeling with big bikes is timing with your clutch and your throttle. Because if it's off, you're not gonna you're not gonna get it right right away. You'll either pull, you'll either like drag the clutch and the bike won't come up quick, you'll drag it out. So I've talked to Alec about this recently. A lot of stunt riding is figuring out the bike, figuring out what to do. So we're just going to look straight ahead because nothing we see here is going to tell us anything about our wheelies. So we're going to look ahead and just one, two, three, up. So if you have your basic wheelies down, at this point, you should be able to blip the throttle a little bit if you're confident in your brake. So it's not just gonna be one up and down. We're gonna try to blip it a little bit. So you see how I caught a little bit of speed. That's fine at first. Get used to your bike, get used to the brakes, but try to start getting comfortable with bringing it back a little further. Make sure you hit your brake, please. Wear your helmets, wear your gloves, wear your pads. You're still learning, remember that. And we're gonna bring it back a little further this time. See how I'm going slower if the bike's taller? Perfect. Something I did wrong in the beginning, mainly because it's a DRZ and the brake feels weird to me, I dragged the brake. So when I tried to drop back, I would hit the brake on accident and it would bring me like right back down. So make sure you only hit the brake when you need it and you'll figure that out as you go on. But we're just gonna keep bringing it up a little taller, slowing it down. So let's catch some speed and then drop it back and slow down. So when I was learning how to drop back, an issue was when I pulled the bike up, I would look through the force because it's an easy way to see where I'm going in front of me. And then that stopped me from dropping back to where I needed to be. So I'll try to do it where you can see right through the fork so you can see what I used to see, but you know you gotta bring it back further. Ready? I will look through the forks right here and be choppy on it because I didn't want to not be able to see what was in front of me or like move and the bike feel weird. So make sure you get it past that point. So we're looking at the forks and we bring it back a little further. There you go. Also, with dropping back, you'll hear it. So you're gonna hear the bike catch the speed, you're gonna hear the throttle, you're gonna hear it come, and when you drop it back to a good point, the sound of the bike's gonna drop. And it's gonna go boo, and you're gonna know that it's slowing down. Um, if you're not back far enough, of course, the engine brake will still bring you back, but make sure you know your brake. That's a good, that's a good time to hit your brake when you hear that. So let's, let's make sure we can hear that sound. Ready? Ready? Right there. 
the sound just drops. I'm in first gear right now too, because we're going pretty slow. See how it just drops? So we're gonna try to start hearing that sound. You should have already been hearing it on your mini bike if you already know how to do it on that. So. Let's not worry about going fast, getting distance. Look straight ahead of you, bring it back to a good point, hit the brake. Bring it back again, hit the brake. But don't hit the brake so hard that you have to chase your wheelie again like this, ready? If you hit it too hard, you have to chase, then hit the brake a little softer next time. So we're just gonna go back and forth. We're gonna do like a little seesaw, like teeter totter. Back, brake. Bring it back, brake. So that was perfect. We're gonna keep doing that, ready? Back, brake. Back, brake. If you feel like you're chasing them, try to put the bike down, clutch it up again, and give it a shot. And sometimes people, and when I say people, I mean past me, used to get stuck at just like holding the throttle at one spot. And you just wanna try to drop it back. Not like I was catching too much speed because I was at a good point, but you wanna try to bring it back. See, I'm kind of stuck right here, not dropping it back. Make sure you twist that throttle and bring yourself back a little bit. Try to keep your bike in first gear. It'll keep you nice and slow. Do not worry about shifting right now. Not that it's crazy hard, but if you need to shift because you're running out of gear, then you're not dropping it back far enough. All right, I was just going over a couple things. Um, just basic look ahead and not hitting the brake too hard, not catching too much speed. Just, just hold on, hit your brake, and be super light with it. Stay in first gear, because if you feel like you need to shift a second, you're going too fast. Try to drop back. Make sure you hit your brake. One of the first things I did when I was on this bike was I tried to scrape. I knew my brake, so I was confident in it. And I tried to scrape so I could actually get the feeling of dropping back on this bike. I was trying to also say that once you're here, you're still chasing it. Here you're at a good point, but here you'll hear the bike drop. You'll hear the idle drop. And that's when your bike's slowing down. That's a perfect point to hit your brakes. Just tap them. You don't need to slam them. At first, you don't have to worry about going far, but we are gonna go down the street a couple times. I'm gonna go a little further in, the, in this area that I can actually put my head to one side and see so I'm not worried about looking through these forks. I'm gonna be in second, just because that's a more comfortable gear for me, personally, just going down the street, because um, I know how to control my speed, so don't try to rush it in second. You'll also figure out on your bike if you need more gas, less gas, if you need to drag the clutch out, if you need to pop the clutch out. So a lot of it's learning your bike, how you feel, start with the basics, pop it up. If you need to start with what you were doing on the mini bike and pop it up and hit the brake, pop it up and hit the brake, then pop it up and blip it and blip it and then hit the brake. Like you'll get it. Just make sure you're confident with the brake before you hop on a big bike. Whether it's a 400, 600, 1000, I've never done a wheelie on a 1000, that's just nuts to me. Um, just, just do your best, be safe. Also, with time comes balance. It's, it's pretty easy on the mini bike with your foot down, but it's a little bit harder on the big bikes with both your feet on, because it's, it's new. But, it's a lot harder to put both feet up on a mini bike versus a big bike. So, yeah. Um, like I used to want to put my feet up on the mini bike and it was just, the balance was just off because it's mini and we're big, you know? So the balance will come, but try not to ride your brake when you get back there or the bike goes like this and it's really sketchy. So we're just gonna really easy, just get it up and try to keep it slow. See, I'm trying to stay back. I'm like stuck here. Now drop it back. 
See, I'm looking off the side and I don't have to worry about where my forks are. It's too much speed, drop back. Hit your brakes, hit your brakes. I cannot think it enough. Hit your brakes. We're gonna pop it up again. Easy, back and forth. Back and forth. Love it, love to see it. I wanna see everybody out there that's trying to wheelie. Send me videos, I'd love to see them. I'll put them in the next how to wheelie video. Let's see your videos. Show me your successes, your fails, what you have questions on. I want to see it all. So in the last video, we did the one, two, three tactic, bring it up. I used to go to the lot and be like, can I, can I remember how to wheelie today? So we're going to do the foot on the brake, gas, clutch, and we're going to give it a one, two, three. Ready people? One, two, three. And we're dropping it back. You ready? Can you hear it? Ready? You can hear it drop. Good point to hit your brake. We're keeping it nice and slow. See how the bike can get a little wiggly? If you get scared, don't, don't slam on your throttle. Hit the brake softly and bring it right back down. If the bike feels like it's doing a lot, that a lot, swaying, and you know it's not your body, it might just be you dragging the brake a little bit. So much of it is figuring out how to do it for you. So, also on big bikes, certain big bikes, like on my DRZ before I had a bigger sprocket and a better setup, I really used to have to pull this bike. So it wasn't just one, two, three clutch and gas. It was a pull at the same time as I was popping the clutch. So, I don't think I have to do that now. Depending on what bike you're on, you might not have to do it. But if you can't get it up and you're doing and you're doing all the right stuff and the bike's just going like that, you don't have enough oomph to get it up. Like this bike's really heavy. You have to lean forward and one, two, three, pull it up at the same time. And drop back. Sure. All right, so that's basically our how to wheelie part two video. If you don't feel like you're comfortable trying this, go back to the first video, practice those things so you're slow and controlled. But basically part two is you already know the brake, you already know the clutch up. So a lot of it is confidence and keeping it slow and dropping back with both feet on. So just look ahead, clutch it up, but you have to Pull it up a little bit or not. Look ahead, clutch it up. Try not to catch too much speed. If you are, remember, just drop it back and remember to hit your brake. Bring it back, remember to hit your brake. And it's all just like super slow and calm. It might take you a couple days, weeks, whatever to figure it out. But if you're determined enough, you will 100% get it. So it's super fun. Um, if you guys have any questions or you have any suggestions for the next how to wheelie, whether it's scraping or coasting or anything let me know what you want to see and i'll make the video i got you guys or if you want it on that bike 66 which is definitely a bit harder to wheelie than this one so let me know what you guys want to see any questions like subscribe make sure you comment um and good luck with your wheelies you got this